What's going on guys, Chatter Reviews here, gonna bring you an unboxing and a quick review of the Dell G3 gaming laptop. So first things first, let's get this bad boy open and dive right into this. So quickly I'm gonna go over the specs of this guy, I got the lowest end model which is a Core i5 8300H quad core CPU with 8 threads, uh, the 1 terabyte hard drive, uh, 1 stick of 8GB, 2666 megahertz RAM, uh, that's DDR4, a 15.6 inch 1080p IPS display and the NVIDIA GTX 1050, so the non-TI version. Now the first thing that you get out of the box are the quick start guides and the power brick. The power brick is your standard 130 watt power brick that Dell ships with most of their more powerful laptops. And nothing too special, it's not too slim, not too bulky, somewhat portable, so I think it's pretty standard. And next we got the laptop, which is just wrapped in a really thin plastic film. And the very first thing that strikes me about this laptop is the dark, shiny, metallic Dell logo and the material that's used to make the actual laptop casing. Now the overall aesthetic of the laptop is pretty nice, I like the look of it, but the casing feels a bit cheap. For reference, I have the Dell 567, which is using a uh, soft touch finish which I find a lot better. Maybe it's soft touch finish, maybe it's a material, I'm not too sure, but there's something about the plastic on this that makes it feel slightly overly cheap, although it is the entry level version of the G series. Now opening up the laptop, you're greeted with a Chica style keyboard. Uh, the keyboard layout is pretty good, there's nothing too bad or good that pops out to me, apart from the fact that it's a multilingual keyboard, I'm not a huge fan of those. Um, the design on the keyboard deck is pretty nice, I like the, the crossing of it, it, it adds a bit of flair, and the blue highlight on the trackpad is pretty nice. Uh, the keyboard deck is also pretty firm, pretty robust, it doesn't really flex too much when you type. The one gripe I have is when you type, the keys kind of feel a bit mushy even though they have a decent tactile feedback. So that's the only problem I mainly have with it. Now moving a lot around the laptop, at the back you just got nothing, just bare black with a simple G3 logo which I like. On the right you got your SD card slot, a USB 2.0 Type A port, and a Kingston lock slot. Now on the left side you got your decent power point, uh, a HDMI 2.0 RJ45 Ethernet, pretty standard, two USB 3.1 Type A's, and a headphone microphone jack. And now moving on to the back. The back looks like it's not th that difficult to take off. Just a few Phillips screws. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that pretty much sums up the exterior as a whole. Um, now I'm going to open up the laptop and show you the entire laptop in a single frame because I did a pretty shitty job of displaying the entire laptop in one frame. So here you'll get to see the whole laptop in a frame. And then I will move on to turning it on. So when you first turn on the laptop, you'll notice that the laptop has backlighting. There's no RGB coloring to it, no red, no blue, even though the laptop is blue themed, but I think a lot of people would appreciate that. In terms of the display, it's a 15.6 inch IPS display. Even though it's IPS, uh, the display isn't that great, it's a matte display. But the colors are fairly dull in my opinion, uh, they don't really pop, they're just kind of there on the screen, kind of grayish to me, so it's a very average screen. And here you have me testing out the keyboard. The keystrokes are pretty good, I like the typing on it, um, there's nothing to complain there, but the keys somehow do feel mushy when you start typing. Um, each individual key feels like it has a solid tactile feedback, but typing as a whole feels kind of squishy in a way, and the trackpad isn't the greatest. Um, it has integrated key buttons, and I don't really like that because it feels like you can press it anywhere, but as a whole, the keyboard deck is solid, and generally, it's what you expect from an entry-level laptop. So yeah, that pretty much sums it up for this unboxing and quick overview. I will be making a more in-depth review later, so subscribe for that video, and let me know if you want it or 
something I should change in that video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up as I spent a decent amount of time editing the video, showing it from like 30 minutes of agony to a sub 6 minute video for your entertainment or education or whatever you want to call it. And please comment below if you have questions about this laptop or laptops in general. I will try my very best to answer every single one of questions, but at the very very least, I will read every single comment. And finally, I give this laptop a solid 7.5 out of engineering student. I feel like the parts are pretty good, everything is pretty decent for the price point. The battery has been on the weak side at a 56 watt hour battery, but in general, you're paying for what you get. So that sums up my rating. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. See you next time.